There's a lot about rural Clarendon County that's never changed. But something that started here 66 years ago changed education in the United States forever. Harry Briggs Jr. and his parents, Harry and Eliza, signed a petition that became the Briggs versus Elliot lawsuit to end school segregation. And the Bible says about the child shall lead. So here's this young Harry Briggs Jr. with, with his name out front, almost leading the integration of America. Harry's brother Nate and his widow Helen Mac Briggs are remembering him after he passed away last week at the age of 75. Briggs versus Elliott got rolled into Brown versus Board of Education. The U.S. Supreme Court ruling in that case ended separate but equal schools. This all started because some black children in Clarendon County had to walk up to nine miles to school. So their parents asked the school district for a bus like white children had. But the school district said no. So they sued to end segregation completely. Dad signed a petition and he, they fired him from his job and fired my mother from, from her job. The family had to move to New York to find work and Harry Jr. never went to an integrated school. His widow hopes his legacy will be to inspire children who never experienced what he had to. It's not going to be very easy, but if you keep on pushing, climbing, and education is the key. In Manning, Robert Kittle, 7 News. Three, two, one. In Manning, Robert Kittle, News 13. Three, two, one. In Manning, Robert Kittle, News Channel 6. Three, two, one. In Manning, Robert Kittle, News 2. Three, two, one. Reporting for Fox News at 10, I'm Robert Kittle. Three, two, one. Reporting for Fox Morning News, I'm Robert Kittle. Three, two, one. In Manning, Robert Kittle, NBC 26. Three, two, one. In Manning, Robert Kittle, News 19, WLTX.